We started thinking about doing a show on the San Pancrazio massacre a number of years ago. San Pancrazio is about 15 kilometers from where we live. It's actually just right across the, the valley. The front passed through here. The Germans were retreating through Tuscany. And one of the reasons why we felt it was important to do this story is because this was this little tiny village here was really forgotten in time. As I started to explore the story more, I got more interested in how the Italians actually lived through the war and how they experienced it. After Mussolini fell from power, uh, it was absolute chaos in Italy. You can imagine um, 20 years of fascism, Mussolini falls, and the people themselves were very divided. In the case of um, San Pancrazio massacre, there were fascist collaborators, masked uh, Italians. Uh, they, they heard their accents as they were talking, so you could tell that they were Italians. So that was a really frightening thought. In all of the little towns around here, in the small villages and hamlets, there's always a plaque, uh, a marble plaque, either in the piazza, uh, the square, or at the beginning of the town that is dedicated to the people who were killed. When you do come, it's something that you might, after seeing this program, you might remember to, to look out for because this whole area, this whole valley was especially hard hit during World War II. One of the things about making this program, and I guess it's something that most producers deal with is access. We've been following this story for a long time in the hopes that we would actually bring it to a larger audience. It's not a story that one just opens up about instantaneously with people they don't know. But I think as we started to develop relationships and meet with people, especially during the processions, people felt more comfortable opening up to us. They always saw us toting around a camera, camera equipment, me and my husband who co-produced the show and shot it. The backdrop we had to work with even while telling this horrific story is pretty breathtaking. We spent a lot of time shooting in, in this building behind me, which is the farmhouse where the massacre occurred. And it still gives me the willies walking in there knowing that so many men were executed. When you step outside, you do feel the, the, the warmth of this village and you feel the resilience of the community. We bonded very closely with a number of people that are, are here. These are individuals that did not get justice for, for decades, but they hold no hate. And I think it's right for them to pass that story on to other generations and to remember, but not to hate. That's why I love what I do, to be entrusted with people's stories and do their stories justice. It's a moving story and it's something that uh, as a producer I'll remember is a really special moment in my life.